What does it look like? Is this cool? Looks cool. Ladies and gentlemen, Peter here back again with another truck breakdown. This one, it's a huge one. That's what she said. Every time I make those breakdown videos, I title them like huge drop or the biggest future based drop ever. But this one, this one is the biggest and said. definitely the most epic. Which is good, because it proves that I'm improving, but eventually I will run out of titles, because how am I supposed to name the next video? The most epic, the biggest, the hugest future-based drop? Wait, this is actually a cool idea. So this track is a preview track of my latest and greatest future-based sample bug called Galaxy. If you want to check out the pack, visit my website oversample.us or check out the description. I've got many messages saying that the pack is a bomb and that's awesome to hear. I'm really grateful and I hope you guys make some bangers with those sounds. So let's now dive into the project and I'm gonna show you everything. Everything. I'm gonna wear some headphones. You know, like using headphones is like a focus mode. You wear headphones and you're like instantly much more focused. It's just getting smaller and you're just like, you see this, which is just a screen. Especially if you have closed back headphones, you can really forget about the outside world. So I'm gonna play back this track and show you what it sounds like. If you haven't heard this already, if you did hear it, you can skip one minute. So that is it. It is really epic, especially the lead. I'm gonna show you every single element of this track so you can have like a general idea how to you can construct this type of song and how songs like, like that are being constructed and what elements they consist of. So that is really important when you want to learn how to structure songs yourself. So the way I started this track is I used a sample. So every single sample here is actually in a sample pack. I started with this sound. It's a piano and strings loop. Then we have this lead on top. With some additional post processing like pitching the whole thing down. Then we have this granular synthesized, sort of like a grain delay high pitch on the top. Similar thing here, and then we have some reverb. We have eight bars of just these two elements playing. And then we start adding more elements. Freeze bass. That just hits in and this is vocal loop. So after 16 bars of just things getting introduced, which is 25 seconds, I decided to put a build up here, which is a good idea. So it adds 25 seconds to the whole track and having a drop hit on um, after 50 seconds is a good place, in my opinion. So I just subtracted this piano. The vocals are still playing. This arp is playing one octave higher. The respace is playing. So then I started adding elements and I introduced some pads and chords. So there's this pad. Ah! 
This is basically a super sauce, but they're being filtered. Yeah. And then we have another layer. These are like really basic, not much post-processed sauce. And then an Arturia Prothet. So everything together. Um, cause this is supposed to be a build-up, so I add this. Which is in this case just a clap. And I put this noise sweep to transition smoothly from the first section of the song, which is just sort of like an intro and verse section, and to the build up. And I put this riser. In the second part of the build up, I put another riser. Sort of like a vocal riser, and then another one. And then, again, some transition element, like a noise sweep. Really gives a lot of movement, and then in the second part of the build-up we have this thing. Just another super saw layer to make this more hype and more beefy and just fuller. In addition to that, just as a, like a transition element, and then really what makes this build-up really hyped, giving a lot of tension, is this Just another transition element. And then I put here a different drum fill. Th these high snares. So this is how it goes. And then we have this vocal looping here. I just took this part and I just started copying. And then I consolidated it, I warped it, used Complex Pro on zero formants. I went to transpose and I just wrote this automation, which is... And then, just a detail, this re-space is fading out here. With this EQ, it's cutting low end. And then it drops. So first of all, we have these drums. Really heavy kick and snare. Oh my god, so heavy. So many calories. So heavy. Then once uh, we have kick and snare, we can start adding hi-hats. Some movement and then we have even more hi-hats. As you can see there's a lot of hi-hats here going on and the reason why I put so many hi-hats to one make a drum loop sound full and two make it move. I wanted to get some movement and a good way to get some movement is to just make some cool drum loop you know. And then we have that like a ride and then we have open hi-hat so it's like and then we have another open hi-hat. Like... Which is cool. And then we have these breaks. Unfortunately, this is like one of the two elements that are not included in the pack. So like some drum breaks. Um, yeah, so after we have some cool drum loop, we can start adding layered super sauce. And this is gonna be a really big part of this song. There's lots of things going on here. Lots of layers. Bass have three layers. Chords have six layers. <laughs> so let's start from the chords. So this is like a really simple super sauce preset again. And then another layer. So oh, there's some mid side EQing going on here because I wanted this to be more on the sides instead of in the middle. Another one. This one is a bit distorted. So if I sometimes like to do that, I like to put some distorted super sauce so they sound like more gritty and more beefy. Yeah, so there's that. And then we have this lead and that I'm gonna go in a second and risers here so these are adding a lot of tension in the drop 
Riser and Anoise 3 both are being heavily EQ'd with and without. So that makes a difference. Then we have this bass. Then we have Reese bass. Really wide one. Also being EQ'd because this is not the main sub layer. We have this separate sub. Which is a nice layer because we are using actually a separate oscillator and completely separate serum instance for a bass. And that makes the whole group of layers sound really clear at the bottom of the frequency spectrum. So the lead, oh my god, this is so huge. I, I think like um, I'm gonna do another video just talking about this lead. Yeah, I will do that. So a few big future based leads, how to design them. I'm gonna give some away for free. So if you want to get some leads for free, if you want to learn how to make huge leads, uh, I'm gonna be going over not only this preset, but like a lot of other sounds and how to make them, how to fit them into the drops. So if you want to learn that, or if you just want to grab presets, just slash in that subscribe button and you will get some cool shit. So how to make this lead exactly. So let's just disable it. Well, there's not much processing actually going on. Okay, so let's dive into the serum. We are doing something like adding a ton of reverb, a ton of distortion. Um, and basically the reverb is making it really wide and it's making it sound really epic and huge. And the distortion is adding more distortion. So it's adding some dirt and more epicness to the sound. We are starting with a saw wave. You hear the slide because there's mono and legato turn on and some portamento is set to like 488 milliseconds. You can definitely hear that if we stack two super saws on top, they actually sound fuller. We are not layering two the same sounds together because they are actually detuned and because they are detuned, they sound fuller together. I'm adding this thing also. Just to make it fuller and then we have this noise on the top. Um, and then we are starting to distort. We are using diode one distortion type and we are using another distortion technique that is cutting high frequencies. So they're not being distorted and distorting only mid and low frequencies. And because of that, the distortion creates high frequencies and they're the gritty high frequencies. And that sounds really cool. Pre-distortion so is happening, the ZQ is happening before the distortion happens. And then we have some hyperdimension. Just a little bit of width, probably unnecessary. Again, some width with a chorus. Yeah, I didn't do much here, it's just a compressor, probably not really useful here. And the filter. I've been doing a lot of post-processing and I haven't turned on something. Some, sometimes I make a sound that some of these effects are really useless, but I just skip them. That's, you know, that may be a little bit confusing, so I'm just going to turn this off. Not changing much. So we have this EQ here that is cutting some low frequencies. Just a tiny bit to make this more brighter and less muddy. Then we have this delay. Um, a cool thing happening here is that when you play a note, and then you stop, there's no delay happening. Um, it's gonna be much more audible while using reverb. So notice when the sound stops, there's no reverb anymore. And this is happening because if you assign a mix knob to an envelope, that is, this is the main envelope of the sound, you basically can turn on reverb whenever the lead is being played. So if you put this a little bit higher, you can see that the reverb is working after I stop playing the note. Oh, I don't remember. Did I use filter? So let's keep this. So we have some EQ8 to just clean some mud. And then we have Hass effect to make this really wide. Then this OTT on 100%. Uh, those are default setting and, and then we have some some EQ at the end.
probably I didn't use filter. I, I don't remember. Yeah, so this is how the lead has been made. Oh, and in the drop we have these in spaces because as you can see, there's like a call and response thing going on. This is call. And there's a response here. And it is going uh, all the time. We have some... Oh, nothing more. Nothing much. A fun fact, I didn't master this track. And I forgot. I didn't even know. It sounded cool. If you want to grab a copy of the sample pack, just head up to the description. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you learned something. See you in the next one. So that's it. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, we can side on that subscribe button. Also, you can visit my site oversample.us for some high quality samples, presets, and free sounds.